Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Equation by Pharmacist Moms. Today we'll learn, Branches of Pharmacy. There are explanations about, development of pharmaceutical science, and the branch of sciences, that exist in pharmacy. Branches of pharmacy, are divided into five primary disciplines. Each of them is related to each other, and cannot be separated. Any of them can be used simultaneously, with the aim of, improving the quality of life of the patient. We will discuss them one by one. First branch of pharmacy is, pharmaceutics. It is the branch of pharmacy, that deals with the development of a new chemical compound, into a finished drug, which should be safe, stable, and effective in use. Pharmaceutics also deals with, the formation of an existing drug, into a new dosage form. Second branch is, medicinal chemistry, or pharmaceutical chemistry. Medicinal chemistry deals with, designing, optimization, and development of new chemical compounds as drugs. It concerns with, the metabolism of drugs. Pharmaceutical chemistry deals with, the designing and development of new chemical compounds as drugs. It doesn't concern with, the metabolism of drugs. Third branch is pharmacognosy. The branch of pharmacy that deals with, the study of medicinal drugs, that are derived from plants, animals, or other natural sources. It also deals with, the physical, chemical, biochemical, and biological properties of drugs, drug substances, or potential drugs, or drug substances of natural origin. Fourth branch of pharmacy is, pharmacology. This branch of pharmacy deals with, the interactions that occur, between the living organisms, and chemical compounds, that can give effect to normal, or abnormal biochemical functions. Such effects can be described as, pharmacokinetic effect, or pharmacodynamic effect. Pharmacokinetic effect is about, what the body does with the drug, that is, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. Whereas pharmacodynamic effect is about, that what does the drug do with the body, including, cellular effects or, systemic effects. Fifth one is, pharmacy practice. This branch of science is more focused on, the pharmacy practice in community, and hospital. Pharmacy practice is also divided into some areas, which are, Clinical intervention. It is often used in pharmacy practice in hospital. Pharmaceutical care. It is about the direct or indirect responsibility of a drug therapy for the purpose of achieving the elimination or a reduction of a patient's symptom of a disease. Communication skill. It is about that the pharmacists need to interact with many people with different background, so they should always have good communication skills. Patient care. Pharmacists should always be patient-oriented. They must focus on improving the patient's quality of life. Drug-related problems. It is the study to understand the problems that resulted from the treatment. That's all for today. For more informative videos, please subscribe our channel.